Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Mother Banana and this is Mass Effect 2. Last time we went after some kind of anomaly mission and uh, we finished that chain actually, I think. And uh, we also talked to uh, most of our crew. Well, at least those guys that uh, we finished a loyalty mission with. Well, loyalty mission 4, I should say. And um, yeah, now we are at the Migrant Fleet because Tally has some kind of trouble. She is accused of treason, if you might remember. And that means we have to well, go here and look why she's accused of treason, actually, and, uh, you know, get her out of this mess. So let's talk and, uh, yeah, let's let's just see what this, this is all about. I'm pretty sure that this is a misunderstanding. I mean, you know Tali, right? She only, you know... She, she kind of basically does everything for the good of the fleet. We have to take her anyway, so no real, well, penalty in using her. Uh, I think we'll take Garrus with us for this one. Because of the overload and stuff. Ah, no, I, I just can't. I just can't. Clan Urtnot for the win. So, as per usual, we gain we use that we never use tell in a mission that's interesting uh do we need more health from a power duration mm, kind of like oh it's weapon damage or power duration kind of like the power duration thing let's take that because her combat drone lasts longer also her, her ai hacking will last longer and that's pretty much what she's good at energy drain is also pretty damn good so i think i'll keep some points around for that. That's pretty darn good. Uh, she basically drains shields. That's, as I say, pretty darn good. Uh, maybe give, let's go hacking to two. That should do it for now. So yeah, there we go. That's the migrant fleet. Lots of ships. And this giants. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Yeah. There we go. Captain Shepard, Tali Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, also, it's Commander, but let's not go with some formalities, right? So I owe Tally, and we are here to help her. Tally helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. I wish I could do more to help Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Uh, yeah, let's just not get... You did what? Let's just... What do we do now? Because I, I need a plan here. Let's deal with that later, Tally. What's our next step, Captain? Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Well, that doesn't... Well, it doesn't sound too promising, does it? Let's talk to the Captain again, maybe. You should speak with Admiral Ran. She's waiting for you up ahead. Admiral Ran, okay, got it. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a thing. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe it either. If Tali Zora can't even get a Quadian captain to stand for her, she's as good as convicted. Huh. 
Aquarian captain, eh? No need for that. Got a human captain. Commander, actually. Uh, that must be Ron, then. Tylee's or of us, Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nemo. Uh, yeah, as you might have noticed, this Vas basically means from what ship they came from, so she was, I guess, Vas Nima. Meaning that she, you know, was born, I think, on the Nima. And now she is Vaz Normandy, meaning so she surfs on the Normandy. Uh, are you part of the trial, actually? That seems to be a... have, a, you know, some kind of consequence there. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Fair enough. Uh, also, what kind of... N what's with this name thing? I mean, she's tried under the Normandy name, right? Maybe that makes things complicated, or maybe not. I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zorovas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. Well, let's not keep them waiting. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. That sounds promising. No loopholes. I doubt that. Also, I got a new armor tint, as you might have noticed. We're going in with a black, dark, red, white style. And I like it. Looks cool. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Talia Zorovas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy, your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? It's my pleasure. But, uh, just as you, you know, she said, no legal loopholes, right? And there was just one try that this guy just tried to use a legal loophole. They basically transferred her to the Normandy and hoped that, she, you know, get rid of me as her defense counselor or something. So, yeah, legal loopholes and stuff, I don't know. But yeah, it's my pleasure to defend Tali. If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vasnima, 
a proud member of the Migrant Fleet. I regret that her captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Zalkoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Well, she's innocent, obviously. Tali would never endanger the migrant fleet. She pleads not guilty. I left parts and technology for teams to pick up. My father ordered me to do so. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lampship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. What the... Uh... Yeah, right, we need to help then. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the Migrant Fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarry and strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. Bah. We're going to retake it. That's just, just, we must, for Talu's sake. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is clear to these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Well, that could have gone better. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Yeah, I mean, that would also be kind of, you know, unpolitical and kind of being biased, so I don't know. Let's go. I don't think we can do anything by standing around or accomplish anything by standing Let's around. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Great. Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Uh, we'll do. Oh, Cal Riga. Um, I remember that guy. I remember the name. Hmm. Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing Geth. Talizor is guilty. Yeah, right. Carl Rieger. Shepard, Talizor. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the son on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. Right. Uh, I remember now he's the Marine that we saved uh, when we, you know, got uh, Tali aboard. Anything... How Actually, how are you feeling? 
He had a what a suit breach, so. Have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Corians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. Yeah, that... I can understand. Uh, why is he here, actually? What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telizora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. Yeah, he did. Because we can handle it. I mean, we're heavily armed with a Krogan. I don't don't think that we have any problems there. And but what did he say about the dark energy? I'm, I'm kind of curious here. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Hastrum? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation. The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. That sounds weird. Let's just not discuss the physics of that. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. Indeed. Anyways, uh, thanks, Carl. It was nice talking to you. We should get going. Good luck on the holler, I. Stay safe out there. Ah, uh, we will. Ah, uh, Vitor. That was the Shut guy... Well to the yeah, I did. Uh, that was a guy we found on our first mission, I think. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you help me. Not really. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. Yeah, that was the guy who saw the... Collectors abduct the whole uh, colony and stuff. Let's talk to the Admiral over here. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Tali was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Well, she had, doesn't really have an interest. Yeah, lack like an interest of trial. That, that seems seems kind of... Obvious, but let's let's get into that. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? 
To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth. Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. Yeah, it seems like that. I don't really like to talk to her Thank anymore. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. She... it seems like that this trial is more... And her father are out of control. This is on death. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Uh, it seems like that they're kind of using this trial to kind of plot the future political course for the Quarians. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alloray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Well, you went too far on that. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He could still be alive on that ship. You should get to the other eye soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? Mm, yeah, the Admiral's infighting is actually kind of interesting. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home war. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. That is a bad idea. I think the Geth are way too strong for you. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. Well, why not find another world to settle on? Just saying. I mean... There are plenty of worlds out there, but hey, guess you want your world back, you want your world back. On the other hand, why? I mean, most of the people here don't even know what it's like. Anyway, uh, what's the necessary evidence to clear Tali's name? That's something that we really need to know. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tali, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes! But never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. Well, fine. Let's just go. We should move on. Good luck on the other eye. Yeah, thanks. Let's just talk to the other two admirals and... Um... I guess then we just make a cut and a go on the LRA in the next episode, I think. Tally, I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarol Vasnima. You got Admiral Chorus backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. Hmm. I like the scene, backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. Uh, anyway, so he's on, on Tally's side, seems like. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving Rail an active equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. 
Yeah, exactly. So let's ask one, once again about this Admirals in fighting. I want to hear everyone's opinion on, on kind of, uh, you know, retaking the homeworld. That seems like a really interesting topic. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know Father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Yeah, fair enough. But... Why the homeworld? Why not just go and colonize a new one? I don't know. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. I mean, it seems like a bad idea to attack the Geth head-on. They, they seem pretty strong. Also, they can just rebuild faster than, you know, you can breed quarians. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I see no <laughs> pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. I... Yeah, do not ask about the name. I don't. Okay, Tali said no, I don't. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tali's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Yeah, see? That guy is actually pretty much the bastard. The guy that I really dislike, but I, I, he kind of gets the idea. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end for both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. We should move on. Yeah, Good fair enough. Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Yeah, and I think that as well. Because, you know, maybe, just maybe, think about that. Make peace with the Geth and ask him to F off, you know? It could be hard, right? But they're synthetics. They don't really need, like, a really habitable world. So why not give them some kind of whatever planets that nobody else wants and get the, the uh, Quarians there? Uh, their planet back. Easy, right? Oh yeah, I am. Anyway, that's the Shuttle Guard, and uh, that will bring us to the Alarai in the next episode. So if you like what you saw so far, it was mostly politics and talking to people. But uh, yeah, if you like what you saw, then please consider pressing the like button. Have such a great deal, and I hope I see you next time when we attempt to retake the Alarai and find the evidence that, you know, Tali is innocent. In any case, thanks for watching, and as always, Auf Wiedersehen.